Visibility is, are you visible in the places that your prospects are looking? And this is very much about your professional career. So visibility means, are you on the social networks where people are looking? Primarily for business school students, that would be LinkedIn. So if somebody searches for you, do you have a professional profile, a professional photograph? If you are in an industry, let's say fashion, they would probably look for you on Instagram. So you kind of want to know where online people in your field would be looking. Mm -hmm. When it comes to in person, are you showing up at professional networking events? Are you visible at job fairs or company information sessions if the companies that you want to work for are there? So if you say, my whole life I've dreamed of being an investment banker, but three investment banks are on campus and you're not showing up to their sessions, there's a disconnect right. there with your brand. Mm -hmm. So visibility is literally showing up online and in person. Um, consistency is about doing that on a regular basis. Are you showing up regularly? I've had recruiters say to me, it's not the person who applies to the job that I hire, it's the person who shows up during orientation at my dinner and then comes to see me at the job fair and then notices that I'm on campus and has coffee with me and then applies for the job. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's kind of a combination, I think, of visibility and consistency. And are you consistent from in-person to online and back again? So if I meet you and you're really impressive, if you send me an email and it's full of typos, there is a disconnect. Yeah. So that consistency online, in person, and then showing up. Um, differentiation is really about um, that personal brand again. If I have 10 job candidates sitting in front of me, what makes you unique? Why should I hire you? Mm -hmm. and, and I think a lot of candidates expect that the recruiter or the employer will figure that out about you. Oh, Lindsay, oh yeah, she'd be good at this. But it's actually the opposite. You need to explain to them what makes you different, why you're the perfect fit for this job. And that can be really hard in college or business school because everybody's smart and everybody's talented. Right. What are you especially good at? And that's where understanding your personal brand comes in. For instance, you know, I'm really good at finance, but so are a dozen other people, but I'm really good at the combination of finance and talking to people about it in a very personal way. You know, something that makes you unique. And the best thing you can do is to combine what makes you unique with what you think makes that company that you're applying for unique and why that's a really good match for you each other. On your resume and LinkedIn, differentiation comes out in the form of keywords. What do I see on your resume that I might not see on other people's? And that's something to really give a lot of thought to. Um, and finally, the first one you mentioned, which is the most important, yeah. mm -hmm. um, is authenticity. I, again, I don't want anyone to think that building a brand is about being fake or saying, wow, I really think the world wants people who like big data today, so I'm going to get into big data. You have to genuinely have a skill, have a passion, know about it. And I think people are very attracted to young people in particular who are really passionate about what they're doing, who authentically love it. So I don't think there's any value in faking something. Now, being authentic doesn't mean that if you feel authentic in sweatpants that you should show up for a job interview in sweatpants. So you wanna be professional in your authenticity. But I think being very true to yourself and true to what you want and are very good at and not trying to say, well, the world seems to want a lot of accountants now. I'm going to be an accountant. You do want to have some affinity for what it is you're looking for. So authenticity is really, really important to keep in mind.